Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. Well, I get lots of questions about uh, string recommendations, and especially for the Duesenberg or a lap steel using the benders. And so um, I was finding that I was having to put my own set of strings together here on Strings by Mail, and um, I actually made my own set of strings uh, for uh, open D lap steel uh, using the benders. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that, the gauges that I use and, and kind of why I chose certain strings and this and that. So let's just start off. Here is the, like each string, as you can tell, here's the uh, diameter and then the, the kind of string that I'm using. Okay, so I've, for this low string, because I'm, I'm not moving back and forth between open G and open D, I decided to put a heavier gauge uh, six string on there, uh, 0 0.059, also called a 59. Now, now what does that do? Well, it kind of, it make although the string is still a little flexible, you know, has a little bit of a bendy quality to it, it does help with that, right? It has a nice low, low tone. And I found if I go much thicker than that, it's hard to get it through the, uh, you know, the tuner, at least of the Duesenberg. Okay, and, and um, that's nickel wound electric string. So just a basic Diodario uh, nickel wound electric string. And then I'm using a 46 for my fifth string or A string. And then a 36, same thing, nickel wound string, nothing too fancy there, right? So those are all just pretty much your standard nickel wound electric string. Okay, for the third string and the second string, I'm using the higher quality uh, Diodario NYXL strings. And um, you want to make sure, here's the thing with these benders, is you want to make sure that this third string on your bender is a wound string, right? Um, I've found that if you use a solid string, the bending, it, it it doesn't have as much throw on that bend, like it doesn't move as far. But when you have that, this one, your third string wound and your second string not wound, then they both move about the same distance, right, when you push them down. So some people have contacted me, and, and the other thing is, is you'll lose some sustain too, if that's a, a thick, like a solid string. But with the wound string, it helps with your sustain. Okay, so why did I choose the higher quality, uh, you know, NYXL strings? These Diodario NYXL. Well, I found that that they last longer, using you know, because they're I think they're made for the, you know, I don't know, bending or something. So I found that they they do last longer. And that being said, I do have to kind of show you this little trick here. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Maybe I'll do this camera. So some people have said that if you use the ball ends of old strings, right, put your string through, put your, if when you change strings on your third and second string, with the Duesenberg at least, the Sertanos, you, you wouldn't be able to do this, and uh, you don't really have this problem on the Sertano benders. But what happens with the Duesenberg, they say, is because of where the string uh where the string uh, is bent, where the bender pushes the string down, it's on the winding part of the string, and that's a weak part of the string. So when you put the the ball ends, um, put the string through and extend basically out the end of the string, it would kind of come out here, but it would take that, that wound part of the string and move it back further like that to where you're actually bending on the string part of the string and not the... the the wound part of the string, that's supposed to help make your strings last longer too. So that in addition to this, you should you know, not be breaking strings as much, I would hope. But I have found that these higher quality, um, watch me break a string now when I say that, but these higher quality uh, NYXL strings for the bender strings, they do last longer, I've found, than the, than the cheaper, cheaper ones here. Um, so at zero point zero two six or a twenty six wound, so nickel plated steel wound electric string there, and then um, this set has um, a high carbon plain steel string NYXL though. 
<clears throat> and then, so that's an 18, 0 0.018, right, okay. on your second string. And point, uh, a 16 on my first string. And that's just a plain steel ball in for your first string. So, yeah, so... It, um, this is the price right now, you know, I don't know, you know, they could always change the price, but at least when I'm recording this and doing this, uh, and this is strings by mail too, it's just stringsbymail.com is where you'll find that. So all you got to do is do a search for Troy, type in Troy, and you'll see this, this set come up, and it's uh, Troy's Open D Lap Steel Bender set, and uh, yeah, you can check that out, and, and then that way you don't have to put a, a set together if you, you've got a Duesenberg, you know. Now, the other thing that I do is I bought several of these uh, NYXL extras, just the singles of the 26 and the 18, 26 wound and the 18 to have. So, uh, you know, if I if I break one of those, I can change just that one string out and not have to go through the whole set. And that'll save you a little bit of money, you know, if you're breaking these these bender strings. Um, and you can do that on, on strings by mail, too. Okay, I think that's it, and that this kind of talks about, you know, why I chose the certain strings that I did, and uh, so that should work for you. Well, thanks for watching this, and I hope that answers some questions. Um, I, like I said, I get lots of emails about strings, so uh, until now, I didn't, well, I still don't really a lot of times have these memorized. I, I have the at least the the bender ones memorized. I know that's a 26 wound and an 18 wound, uh, plain, but uh, 59 on that low string. Yeah, and if you find that that maybe that you lose some sustain if that's too thick, you know, you can always go down in, uh, you know, the diameter, and that might give you a little bit more sustain. But I find that 59 to me gives plenty of sustain. But still. You don't want to push down too hard. You always got to have a light touch in open D on, the, on that low six string. Otherwise, it sounds like this. See, I push down too hard. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you on the next lesson. Talk to you later. Bye.